This video focuses on inefficiencies and to start us off we're going to talk about allocative inefficiency. Now what allocative inefficiency is, it's simply the inefficient combination of outputs. So pretty much we're making things people don't want. If people want uh, cars and houses and we're making boats and planes then that's an allocative inefficiency. We're making combinations of output people don't want. Productive inefficiency, an efficient combination of inputs. For example, using 10 workers when 2 is enough for the job. I'm sure some of you may have seen the picture where one, one person is digging a hole while 7 others are just watching him. That's an inefficient uh, combina combination of inputs and that's a productive inefficiency. Now development. Uh, I'm going to take us through this talk of development and um, pretty much taking underdeveloped country or undeveloped countries and developing them and why it's so hard to actually do that. The problem stems from these following points but also stems from many more other points. But one po a couple of points are uh, the resources, pretty much converting the, pr uh, the, the resources to products that can be sold. Corruption, pretty much officials keeping the money for themselves or for itself. I don't know why it's so, but yeah, officials keeping money for itself. That's corruption. Lack of human capital, the, the ideas, the training that people have. Uh, in, in these underdeveloped countries, if people don't have education, they, then they can't really come up with great ideas. Now, population, if there's no saving, and there's no investment, that means that for forever and ever, they're going to have low income and lack of savings. You know, in these, um, in these underdeveloped countries, they usually have, people usually have too many kids. They don't know about safe sex or whatever, and I hope you guys do. And... Uh, yeah, lack of saving. They have too many kids, and they use their savings on kids if they if they have any. The lack of infrastructure. They have they have no networks or poor networks, poor roads, and poor communi poor ways of communication. And um, lastly, they have debt. Pretty much, they owe a lot to uh, the developed countries, and they have rising debt. So they can't, and if they can't pay that debt, then they have to give their belongings, their land. They have to give that up to pay pay off the debt they incurred uh, in the past and that's why it is, uh, those are some of the points of those are some of the problems of why uh, underdeveloped countries uh, stay underdeveloped and why it's so hard to develop them and that's the that's what I wanted to go through in this video I hope you learned something but development and inefficiencies I highly doubt uh, they will appear on your exams because they're just definitions. But uh, nevertheless, uh, make sure you go through it. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.